Welcome to the rocket profile of SpaceX's interplanetary transport system, a launcher that could help colonize Mars. The first stage consists of 42 Raptor sea level engines arrayed in an outer ring of 21, inner ring of 14, and a central cluster of 7. Only the central cluster of 7 gimbals to control the rocket. Each sea level Raptor provides 3,050 kilonewtons at the surface, which is around 3,300 kilonewtons in vacuum and can throttle down to 20% thrust. They burn subcooled methane and oxygen to provide a sea level ISP of around 334 seconds, around 360 seconds in vacuum. The total surface thrust of this stage then is 128,000 kilonewtons, more than three times that of Saturn V. The mass of the rocket at launch is also more than three times the largest rocket ever launched so far, between 9,700 and 10,500 tons depending on the mission. Because the stage is subcooled, the stage packs a great deal of fuel in a relatively small space. The main stage diameter is 12 meters and it stands 77.5 meters tall. The rocket overall is 122 meters in height. After burning for roughly 2 minutes and 50 seconds, depending on throttling, the first stage reserves about 7% of its fuel to return to the launch site. In fact, exactly on the launch platform since it doesn't have legs. And then the second stage proceeds to orbit. The second stage is also the colonization ship, so the goal is to deliver it into orbit and then refuel it with upper stages refitted to be tankers. It would take 5-6 to six tanker launches to refuel each ship. As with the Falcon 9, the vast majority of the Delta V to orbit resides in this combined second stage and payload, and it can deliver that very quickly. It has 6 fixed Raptor vacuum engines with 3,500 kN thrust each, and a specific impulse of 382 seconds in vacuum, close to the theoretical limit for methane and oxygen. It achieves this efficiency not only with the high chamber pressure of the Raptor engine, around 4,300 psi or 300 bar, but also with an extreme nozzle expansion ratio of over 200. Along with the six vacuum engines, there are also three sea level engines at the center which gimbal to control the rocket, especially during descent. The total vacuum thrust of these nine engines then is around 31,000 kilonewtons. The ship version carries 1,950 tons propellant with a 150 ton dry mass and 300 tons of cargo to low earth orbit. While the tanker version carries 2,500 tons propellant of which 380 tons is its payload to low earth orbit and is 90 tons dry mass. So, the reusable payload capability to low Earth orbit is around 380 tons, while the expendable capacity to orbit for this system is 550 tons. The numbers all sound impressive, but the question remains, can it happen? On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Interplanetary Transport System.